Hey, hello guys, it's Mark from this Air Cigarette 68 in France. Today something make me really have a big smile, something I'm waiting uh, for a long time, a uh, 1.8 skill crawler. I know we have Cragsman since a long time, but it's not really 1.8 skill. It's more of a stretched, little way, bit more brighter. 1.10 skill looks nice. Really, I love what they do especially the last one with the portal axle i love the fact and this is for me a main point to buy a crawler or not to have differential i can lock and unlock especially from the transmitter in worst case something i can unlock like at the tiamia rock sucker with a screw this dude has that that's why also i love the Traxxas Crawler series, especially for sure the last Cheyenne, also a little bit uh, more bigger from the outside view. And for the moment, my favorite 18 skill crawler, the Yikong 4008 08 Pro, and for sure the last uh, Bronco 2021 version from Yikong, also in 18 skill. We have portal axle, something I special like. We have a differential lock and unlock cable from the transmitter, a two-speed gear because I love to trial more than just crawl. I like to do a little bit of all. I had one cross RC on 8 skill in the size, uh, the UT4. It was a kit, was a little bit sometimes strange to between the manual and how to do on a truck. Not a big deal. In the end, also if in the beginning I was a little bit concerned about the size from the stuff, in the end when the truck was together, built in one, it's more so it had also a lot of scale stuff on there. The truck looks really amazing, handles great, drives great, but but the same problem as the Cragsman, the gearbox is super noisy. I hate when trucks has noisy gears i love electric because it's quiet and if you have the gearbox doing in first gear uh, it's something i really not like that's a main reason because also i uh, don't take the lozy lmt i love this monster truck it's tough looks nice handles great also but on a truck looks a little bit scale i love to put sound system in there like oh it's already in the track the ess dual one plus and this is what not possible at the ut4 so i sail it it was not possible at the lozy lmt so i sail it and many other trucks and i have to say even if many people don't like traxxas i don't care about i like any brand i don't like just a few stuff from little from each brand what they do and uh Traxxas has done the trx4 first time they do a crawler they just pin it that's nice we had an unlockable diff at the transmitter we had mod 08 so a noiseless gear and after that many brand has done the same for sure, maybe one or another brand has done it before them, but at the point the TX4 comes out, I don't know that other brands who does that. So, finally, Cross RC, which I love because I had the UT4, made the Emo X. This is a 1.8 skill crawler with portal axle, unlockable differentials two-speed gear and I still wait for Axial to do the SCX CX CX SCX six six I don't get it SC X six <laughs> with an optional possibility or a V2 with unlockable differential at transmitter at least it's what I expected at the beginning at such a big truck. Because I like to trail truck, I like to drive in the grass and some stuff. And there it's really not cool to drive in the second gear with locket differential. 
So this baby looks great. I will come near at the camera to show you. We have a super nice done front with LED light integrated and it's already in the truck. I expected to get a kit. When I get the box I was thinking man this is way too big for what I order and I was surprised to get the RTR version. And this is something I miss at the Traxxas. Traxxas is heavier in price that this baby is a hundred euro here uh, less costing than the T-Rex 4 series. Uh, also the uh, Yikong is also why not so high in price? The Econ has also some, uh, some scale details and some LED light system in there. It is maybe also the most complete LED light system. I think too much. Have the position light blinking when you are crawling. No need. <laughs> here they just put some front light. You have an angel eye here, position light, then you have a drive light and the full power light. So you have one light going on around, then the two in the middle and not full power. And then the third position, you have full power lights. And also at the third position, you have here the grill lights orange who goes on. I will show you later. From the back, also a complete back. That's also something Traxxas do not know. They do the front and they then forget what's in the back. We have also all detail at the back with cool lights also outside. We have what I especially love at pickups, a roll book, an overroll bar. This is awesome. And you can get it separately in one piece. So that means you can buy it to put on each other truck you have if you have the right size because don't forget it's not a one tail it's bright but it's super easy to do it more narrow if you have a smaller truck just cut it in two parts here and put uh, two holes one side the tread and then you can switch it together or you can put just a uh, little piece of steel in there with some glue or something not a problem really easy to make more narrow also a little bit shorter if you need and you will have a top roll cage I tell this because I miss that at some of my pickup trucks I really like it on a pickup truck to have the roll bar with the lights over there this is something also they have thinking as an option I'm gonna get it for sure each tire is 2.2 and weights 200 grams that means you don't really have to put some more weight in there but if you want to do it super easy just unscrew the wheel it's a two-part wheel in a 12 mm hex so you can put some weight in there if you put weight in the wheel you have to think on some stuff. First of all, if you put the weight, I use some uh, alloy weight from car, one size. Uh, just you can tape at the wheel, but not just tape it. Because if it can lose, if it can lose, you're gonna destroy the form. So in a major time, I glue it on the wheel and then I put something around, some duct tape or something, so it don't can't uh, fall out. If you put really much, that means you use place on the wheel. That means you have to cut out the foam because if you let the normal foam and you have put many weights in there, the foam going to be compressed. So the tire going to be harder and that's not absolutely the best you want for crawling. Personally. The last thing I do on my crawler to put some weight is to weight the tires because I more trailing. I drive soft and with diff locking and crawling and then I drive a little bit faster, 50-60 km an hour, it's something I really like to do. I, have, I love all rounder trucks. This is another point where I love my TRX4. The transmission holds that without any problem. 
at the Yikong the transmission is not so tough as a DTRX4 so for the normal drive it's absolutely not an issue for the guys who want to be a little bit more from the transmission like me it's sometimes gonna be an issue with a diff destroying but it's also not a big deal you know what you do with your truck you should know so what I prefer is to have some more weight add at the output from the axles especially on portal axle it's way, super easy to get the whole stuff uh, with the gearing in there uh, make from heavier steel or bronze or something other material as plastics you get a lot for Traxxas series you get a lot for the Yikong and for sure for RGT for other stuffs for the 110 skill maybe cross RC also for the moment I don't find on the market anything for the uh, Emo X but I gotta check out if it's the same part output axle as at the 110 but this is something only I gonna do after have drive stock first we're gonna drive the truck full stock or nearly full stock because I how I say I have put here a sound system in there so we have the portal axle steering servo sitting up in the chassis for a more scale lock for sure a servo on the axle is the better option for put the weight down and more efficiency but it looks really more nice way more nicer with the servo up there the servo is a 25 kilogram steel servo 7.4 volts at and the BC from the brushed ESC here has 7.4 point volt it's a hobby ring 80 amp 4s ESC we have a steel servo horn also or alloy so that means no concern about the turning I have tried even with luck diff putting some weight here I squeeze the suspension down the servo still make the job so that's nice I don't think I'm gonna need more than that you have the window screen uh, stuff on there you have the snorkel the back mirror all you need for the scalers you even have a nice stuff in the truck for the scales that's something also i miss at the trx4 series uh, there the screens are all just black i don't need too much scale detail the ut4 was a little bit too much scale for me um, such stuff is enough for me just looking like a real it's enough i don't have need to have any details the truck weights five kilogram and you have a 550 brush motor 24 25 turns who can take for us at this point the Yikong 408 has the best motor he has this 7075 motor who can take for us and it's really nice and allows you to have enough place to put a bigger motor in there you can put a Castle uh, 5012 1000 kV with the 4 CSC put the crawler mode on and there you are uh, for sure you can use some uh, X550 combo but only takes 3s in the Trax series and in the smaller Yikong and many other truck you have a problem with the room for put a uh, big enough motor in there especially at the TRX 6 or so you have to do some modification because the trucks are heavier here I'm gonna see when I put the body up uh, that you have the room not for a bigger motor but for a longer can in brushless so I already ordered the 550 X combo 3300 kV in 3S for sure gonna be way enough but the motor I really prefer for me it's also that I have put in the UT4 it's the Kestel 4050 2400 kV and a 4 CSC not for drive especially fast I would say 50-60 km an hour is enough for me the second gear 
and it's just a few time uh, in, in the rest of the case you can crawl easy also with the Kessler system you can set the auxiliar wire to another channel so that means you can couple it with the shift gear that means if you put first gear in, inside and have uh, uh, how you say in English the E from Yankee <laughs> the Y um, wire in the moment you shift the first gear should be uh, also get the signal to the ESC to go in crawler mode and when you shift out you can go to normal driving so no drag brake freewheeling and all the stuff to drive easy in second gear but this is something I have to try first uh, to, to check out if it's really work this way because for the moment I don't know if this is gonna work or not but this is something I have thinking about transmitter easy is a radio link system the same as at the Yekong DF7 at, at the XMOR 6s but has no gyro in there instead of that you have here channel 3 and 4 for the front diff locker here you see it it's clear here the rear diff locker so unlike at Traxxas or at the others you don't have or at the Yikong you don't have to shift first to lock the fr front differential then the rear differential even if it's the most common case you have to do for crawl or good is to lock the front sometimes just a little bit the rear then unlock the rear to continue to crawl you don't really don't have to be any time with two diff lockets in a crawler and here you can just lock the rear separately from the front that's also cool and some situation it's gonna be a plus you have here the shift first and second gear and here you have the LED system um, when you put the power on you have here the engine size and no other light then you press a second time you have uh, the center LEDs going on and one in the rear each side you have uh, three LEDs in the rear in each lamp and at the third press you have your the full lights with the orange LED here in the front and all six lights in the rear then you have two options for flashing don't know for what some people like it so okay it's in and then you come back to zero this transmitter has a cool range even if in crawler the range is the last thing you concern because the most of the time you are checking what your wheels are doing at the rock when you are driving and how the suspension work and all that stuff it's precise enough and I love it I have it on faster cars like the XMOS this is a, a real little monster in 6S to drive over 90 km an hour out from the box it's a beast I really love that at the DF7 is a little bit slower but it's more scale it's also precise enough and nice to drive I must not use gyro but this radio system with the gyro is in works great it's the same as in the Dumbo RC and I would say it's a radio link system that's why he's working so good you get with the truck little surprises you get a hat a sport hat and this is really cool I don't wear hat but for those who like it it's okay you get also a radio band cross RC and biggest surprise I get is three alloy screwdriver with uh, teeny shafts and for a hundred hundred fifty bucks less than Traxxas mm -hmm. you get so cool stuff we have a better servo we have better electronic we have better tires um, the truck is bigger I hope something gonna happen by Traxxas sometime 
You get also for body clips more with a little part of rubber because the stock body clips were mounted here. It's a detail, but they think on it have a for special form. So one side goes easy, the other side you are against. So it's mm, not easy to put it on. That's why they put for flat stuff. And the body clips are put here underneath from the bumper front and rear. So you see nothing at the front. That's something I like. For 2001 for sure you can replace it with some heavy magnets or some other stuffs. And the LED light system is in the body. You also have the board in the body. So here you have it and for sure you have one wire going to the truck. You have two optional ports for, I would say, if you put more lights here or in the front, maybe some more lights. I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put maybe four round, because we have round front, uh, round front lights, so four round in the top. And I'll wait for cross assay what they have in mind for option because they have put two options, top one, top two. So maybe there's something also uh, to put here. So we're gonna have a one heavy light here and one here, or a top one la lamp and maybe some backlights more. I don't know what they have in mind. We're gonna see it when they do it. Inside. No fear, that's just uh, for the moment, that just was for quick testing. I just take my sound system, put it in there, two tie wraps and put the wire on to check how it works. Because the worst thing should happen to me is to get a noisy gearbox. So, because when I see the truck, I was surfing in internet, searching for 1.8 kill crawlers. And then I find this picture. First I think, oh, crosses they just say it's 1.8 because it's a long wheelbase. We have here 375 millimeters wheelbase. Uh, that's also almost uh, the same as the Land Rover from Traxxas or the um, Chevrolet K10 here. Or RGT also make a lot of, of track from this land. But he's also more bright. I'm going to show you after. And I really had fear that we have here the gearbox from the UT4 in there, this noisy steel gearbox. And I was surprised to see that we have a plastic gearbox and that's why I take one. I don't want to wait to have some video from some other guys. I just take it because it looks so nice. Quick run ATM ESC, force capable battery room is here. Just take care in the high. You cannot put as high as you want battery because of this bar here, but you can do easier mud here to have the bar a little bit more up. But battery room is enough. You have 135 millimeters uh, to put the battery in there. And in the most case, when you are scale trailing, you not use a heavy battery to have less weight on the top. I personally use a little 2S 2200 or a 3S 2200 or in this case I'm gonna use uh, drone batteries. 4S here, I have a lot from this one here, uh, 4S 1 amp. So I have enough room to put two in there, so I have 4S 2000 milliamp. And when I'm going out to just trail and crawl, this is gonna give me easy 20 minutes run time if I only crawl. For sure, if you put here 4S5000 and you only crawl, you're gonna drive two hours. But if you only crawl, you, how I say, don't like to have too heavy stuff in there. Servo is laying here. I, for the moment, put the sound system here. Maybe I'm gonna put here something there in the lengths. It's not a big weight. I'm gonna put it a little bit more down in the length place here. Uh, so I can use easy uh, bigger battery when I'm just trailing less than crawling. You have front diff locker here, the rear diff locker here. Why they do not have done all on one place is because this is the same tray as at the shorter 110 scale. So you have no room for the third servo. That's why it's in the rear here. 
this is the shift servo and there's one thing you have to take care when you start the truck front and rear drift are locked in zero position it's locked but you are in the second gear you have no lights on here and on no one from these knobs that means the diff front and rear are locked and you are in the second gear so you have each time to first put the first gear in there when you want to drive with the locked differential it's something i really recommend to do not drive with the second gear with lock differential so maybe i'm gonna turn here the servo horn to have the opposite situation or i'm gonna go here reverse my uh, channel 3 and 4 servo so I'm gonna start unlocked and in second gear because this is the must I use then when I'm in a crowding situation I can lock my diffs and uh, first put my first gear in there and all that stuff but this is a personal choice just think on it you have the 550 kV uh, 550 not kV it's not a brush it's a brush 550 for this weight maybe a little bit weak motor you can do it for sure but you're gonna run hot so i'm gonna first drive it this way to show to see what happens if it's gonna be too hot for the motor if you're gonna burn out or not for my using it means a little bit more heavy and throttle esc we're gonna have no problem gearbox uh, receiver box is a uh, traxxas style that means not 100% waterproof if you go in the water the water will go in everywhere so take care it's splash proof we're gonna say if you drive in water anytime after the run unscrew the whole truck and grease and oil each bearing and dry all parts you have four alloy shock absorber with no rubber in the, in the top that means you have here a little screws for put all the air out and maybe something i'm gonna do at this track after the stock run it's i'm gonna put these shocks out i'm gonna open the screw press if the shocks are from good quality this is gonna work this is something i have done at the outlaw rampage pro from kyosho because they have really good shocks I put the shaft full in and let all the oil who is too much go out and close the screw. That means when I let the shock go, he comes a little bit in more because I'm under pressure in the shock. It's not possible with any shock. Most shocks take then the air because it's too much under pressure uh, from underneath here and the O-rings, you hear some and then it's done you have ear <laughs> in the cylinder so we're gonna see if it's gonna work and why you gonna do this because i love the way suspension work that way when you drive scale for sure if you're gonna begin to jump and do that stuff do not do that what happens when you put under pressure into your shocks is that the truck runs a little bit lower and the you see when you are running that the tires really shake and take any smallest bump and look really more realistic but you don't can do anything how i say with you under pressure in the shocks you cannot if you want to do it at a short course which you are a little bit jumping it's not a good solution because the truck gonna hit way faster the ground but on a crawler or at the outlaw rampage pro which i really drive like more scale truck it was not a problem i done it many times and i really prefer how the truck looks when you're driving with the suspension setup this way and in the rear you have something different in the front you have three link suspension with an point out bar here behind the steering bar and in the rear you have a four link but instead of having a panhard or like at the Yikong um, sway bars you have this system I forgot the name from the system 
Uh, I'm now 36 years old. The first time I see this, I was maybe 50 years old. Um, then someone explained me how it works and how uh, what's the name from that stuff, but. Uh, I forgot it. 30 years later, I absolutely forgot that this system is existing. This replaces the sway bar and the burnout bars. When you push here, you see this little part here comes back and takes the other side against the truck. This uh, allows you to have a nice uh, I would say it's working like a sway bar so you don't lose the rear end when you are driving a little bit faster but unlike the sway bar um, it works with no flex so you have a really uh, immediate response from one side to the other and it's not retain the truck to balancing when you see here the truck still move nice because in many cases, you see that the Econ, when you put the sway bar, the truck is way easier to drive when you drive in second gear. Um, but uh, you will lose some roll effect when suspension is working. And this is not the case with this system. So, if I think on it when I'm driving, first we're going to do a stock drive, how I say. I'm gonna take some screwdriver with me, so we're gonna drive first with the system, then I'm gonna unplug the system and I'm gonna test what happens. If it's more difficult to drive, if you're gonna roll more over, if when I'm doing some crawl stuff, if I'm going to lose the truck faster from when I'm this way, we're gonna see. So. First of all, I'm gonna unplug quickly the sound system. Okay, it's already unplugged. We're gonna put the battery on there. So, we're gonna put the body on the top. The wire is long enough, so you're gonna have no problem to fix it easy. So, and there you are with the angel's eyes. And I would say, one input you have lights, two you have more lights, and three you have the flashlight systems. And then you are back to normal. And in the rear, you have backlights two stage and then the flashing stuff also what i don't know if uh, when you're gonna put the additional top light i would say i don't know if we're gonna have two front lights that means one at the window screen and one here up or if you're gonna have one here up and one backwards or if you're gonna have one in the front and one backwards and if they also gonna be managed why uh, the LED light system that means you have you're gonna have uh, two or three stage from using it or it's just gonna be on or off at some point so now the diff are locked and we are at the second gear don't forget this so you have to press here to be in the first gear if you drive with the locket differential and here we are stock after from the box we also have a um, sleeper clutch in there with um, two pads, that's nice, and a Mod 8 main gear. I don't open it now, but I don't think it's a one gear. And as you're gonna see here, so here it's all locked. It really works precise. And you have also a automatic brake set to 80%. That means if you let go the throttle, the truck brakes, but it's a brake ramp. That means it's not brake fully just when you let go soft. So when you are climbing, you have to take the habit to let the throttle go uh, really fast to lock the brake. It's not absolutely totally locked. That means if you let go, you see he comes down. So you can set up all this 
because the quick run ESC is really nicely done from that wise for crowders. Stock you are in front reverse, that means you have no brake because you have the brake set at to 80% when you let go the throttle and the brake ramp is uh, here at level 4. That means the brake comes slowly to full. If you go here to 9 and the moment you let go the throttle you lock the tires. That's something the guys who really crawl is gonna do. I gonna trail so I maybe also gonna go to front reverse and brake but still gonna let the automatic brake in there so in the moment I gonna crawl I don't lose control it's way more easy to catch when you are uh, crawling with the auto brake you have the punch control something maybe you don't gonna use in crawler you can set up the neutral range to really really small because the uh, less neutral range you have if you have a really good radio system you can go really really way down with the neutral range this allows you to, uh, at the, to the less you touch the throttle the truck react at that latch to touch the brake the truck brake or go backwards so it's really precise for guys who are doing really heavy crawl And you can change the impulse at the motor, so it's also going to work more precise and thinner. BEC is set up to 7.4 volt, not less. So think on it, if you buy this ESC and put on a standard truck, uh, which has 6 volt servos and receiver, you're going to burn all out. But that's something not, no more common. The most cars now can take 7.4 volts and um, some radio link system take 9 to 11 volt at receiver even. And we also have 8.4 servos and also now more 11 volt servos. Here we have also the freewheeling. This is for sure disabled because we use the auto brake here this make the opposite from the auto brake that means if you come to the neutral position the car the car give the throttle slower back for sure if you use another radio system like a competition radio system uh, we fly radio the last uh, radio link uh, um, futaba sanva or that stuff you can also mix more at your controller but if you are a beginner you want to have a nice truck not too small with all the stuff on it for a nice price here in europe you're gonna get this stuff for about 60 650 euros um, and it's really complete You can for sure change from LiPo to nickel metal high drive. I prefer LiPo. I personally think all that Crowder stuff and all smaller cars are going to be way more easy to use. Also radio system with lithium ion batteries and only use LiPo for heavy brushless system. Many people in Crowder don't use LiPo because they don't need so much power and uh, they have no concern about cutoff. The ESC is set to cutoff, you're gonna begin to beep if the battery is too low. You're gonna hear it. For change the setup, you have a special separately port at the ESC. You just have to plug it on and with the standard hobby ring programming card, you can change your setup here. And you have really a lot of range to do we gonna also with the test from this uh, little system in the back i have to think to take the programming card with me and then we're gonna on the field i gonna put some wire here up there so i can easy switch on the programming box and show you each effect uh, we're gonna go from um, brake ramp from one to nine we're gonna go to from auto brake from zero to full um, not with little uh, steps but full brake or no brake 
a full auto brake or not, backwards with not backwards and all that stuff. To see a little bit the reaction from that stuff for those who don't know how it works and what are the effects from this. I really do not recommend if you are not if you not have the habit to drive to go backwards forward with a hundred percent auto brake. Uh, this is something you're gonna do on crawler uh, with uh, always lock at stuff and with a small gear with a 35 55 turn motors or with a fusion ESC with 1200 ES uh, kilowatts on that stuff uh, because you are just crawling so um, if you like me drive faster stuff and then switch back to a crawler I promise you at one point you're gonna have the reflex to break you're gonna break and you don't gonna break you're gonna hit full power backwards and you're gonna destroy your transmission so take care of that and be cool and trouble with the crawls so here the diffs are locked as you see front and rear so I gotta unlock the rear one Uh, don't let it loose. It don't works really smooth. So now it's unlocked. It's not. Um, it not works as nice at the Traxxas and the Yikong the system. So we gotta unlock the front one. We're gonna see also here. We're gonna drive a little bit. Okay, it works. It's also a new track, so all that stuff is in the grease, and the grease is a little bit sticky. So it provides the system to go out there. That's why in the beginning the diffs, the diff locker, not work uh, properly. I have the same at UT4. I have to put a little bit too much grease uh, and the lockers and two bits, a little bit sticky grease. So I open it up, put some oil in there. And all, then all was working fine. I guess after a few runs, uh, this uh, gonna work fine. And if not, I gonna adjust a little bit at the cable control that stuff. This is the second gear. And you see, it's really quiet, even if the second gear. Uh, I mean, even in the first gear. You even not hear really the motor and this is why I have the sound system in there I'm gonna show you now take care if you have uh, earplugs that I gonna destroy your ears where's my wire wire why are you come back to me here So, okay, this ESS One Plus sound system uh, is cool because you have two speakers. It's um, way better for me than this simple system. You can put two sounds. That means you can, with one touch, on the sound system change the noise so you can take one v8 one diesel you can take a four cylinder uh, one diesel um, and that's really cool so i have put here one of my favorite sound for crawlers in there and i'll say think i'll put the volume a little bit more down because this is gonna be noisy now First, for start, for sure, it's like an ESC, you have to um, make the calibration from the neutral and from full throttle, full brake. <laughs> and then... I'm gonna lock the diffs.
one first gear and you hear nothing about transmission that's so nice second gear also works really fine backwards <laughs> and you can also easy adjust when it's gonna start up here I set it up for 12 30 seconds and then you have the the cut off here uh, and this is why I sell the UT4, the Lonzi LMT, and uh, I don't buy the Cragsman because the driveline is so noisy. You have the sound from the sound system and then you have all the sound from the gearing in there. And this is really not cool. So the TX4 has that less. It's also a little bit more noisy in first gear than this one, but this one is really the less noisy which I have tested. The Yucatan for our uh, Yikong 40 z rate is also re uh, really quiet, but this one is quieter. So this is gonna be fun. And I promise you, when you put a sound system in a truck, and even if you don't think that you're gonna like crawl, I'm not also a big freak from crawling, but the fact is, when I'm outside, I begin to drive, to trail, to crawl a little bit, to find some stuff I cannot go over, then I try and try and try. Then I get to the cutoff from the battery and suddenly when I go to take a look at my watch, uh, it is one and a half hour later because you completely lose reality, uh, lose sense of time because you just have fun. And especially with the sound system, you can change, uh, you can uh, adjust the volume from the sound system, no fear, you don't have to drive with 80 dB, you can put it a little bit down if it's too noisy, uh, but it's really fun and especially uh, I had done with Kyosho Fox and uh, Formula off-road truck and laid really down with the pedal, the stock pedal tires from the Kyosho Fox 1 and the sound system in there because the Kyosho Fox is also really noiseless, uh, also the USA 1 and you have so much fun when you get up to clean your stuff, you come at the um, at the end point, uh, the overdrive and you hear your motor sound whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> that's like you're on the stadium looking at a monster truck show I really like that, but it's funny, a few minutes or one battery pack, after that you can just stop it, you have a knob on the t on, uh, to uh, knock it out uh, when you want to drive quite. But it's really make his effect. So if you already have one, tell me about it, what have you done on it, what have you test on it, did you like it or not, I'm not... Uh, I feel good about it because I already have some Crosser C stuff in my hand. I like what they do. It's tough. It's durable. For sure, I'm not gonna try to do some back and front flips and some heavy speed runs and that stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna drive it, how I say, like a trail or rally car. A little bit cross style, but not more. And the rest is gonna be slow action, but not pure slow action. For drive pure slow, I have the Rock Soccer Tamiya. Guys, I can wait to go drive it. We are here, uh, it's the end of January and it's the first for me car I unboxed this year. The previous video was all done last year. Uh, no, just the first one this year was the T-Rex uh, last Sunday, but um, I already know the T-Rex, so I was happy to get it in my hand. But I really wait, was waiting for this baby. I'm like a kid now with this thing. See you next Sunday, guys, for the next car we're gonna show. Um, maybe gonna be a non-road car when all works fine in 110 skill for carpet. See you guys.